In this video, we'll be adding equipment to our game. We'll be making it easy to add new equipment inside of the editor, as well as adding an equipment manager that will allow us to equip and unequip these items from the inventory. And thanks to Hans Huftoon for the support on Patreon. If you want to support the videos as well and make sure this channel keeps going, you can do so at patreon.com slash brackies. On that, let's get started. So let's begin by going to our scripts folder and undo items. Let's right click, go create C sharp script, and let's create a scriptable object called equipment. Let's then double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. And in the last couple of videos, we created an item and inventory system. So now instead of deriving from scriptable object, we actually have a base class called item. And so now if we just leave this class completely empty and go to the top here and make sure that we can create the object in the editor by going create asset menu, we'll choose a default file name of say new equipment and a menu name of inventory slash equipment. So now if we go into Unity and go into our items folder here, we can right click, go create, and we can now under inventory, create a new equipment. I'm just gonna call this one the helmet of fire, and I'm gonna delete the two previous items we made. We also have a bunch of test items lying around in our scene. I'm just gonna delete the third one, and let's rename the first one here to helmet of fire. And let's rename the second one to helmet of protection. We then duplicate our helmet of fire here and rename this one to helmet of protection. We'll also put the name here into the name slot and the same thing for helmet of protection. And we can choose an icon for each one. I'm gonna give this one a placeholder sphere and this one a placeholder cube. None of these are going to be default items. We then take our helmet of fire and drag in our helmet of fire object and do the same thing for the other item. So now we've created two pieces of equipment, but so far they only have the default item properties. We wanna be able to define stuff like an equipment slot, armor and damage modifiers, and of course a graphic for our equipment. So let's go into Visual Studio and first off, we want to have a public int. This is going to be our armor modifier. We'll also create one for our damage modifier. And we'll be using these when we create our player stats. But we also want to define an equipment slot. You could, of course, go up here and define this as an integer. Public int equip slot and then simply remember what number corresponds to what slot. But this is very prone to error and doesn't feel very intuitive. Instead, let's use what's called an enum. And we'll actually write this outside of our class. We do that because we don't want it to be encapsulated by our equipment class. No, we want to be able to use this in multiple places. So we'll create a public enum equipment slot, and then we can go ahead and define the different slots. I'll just write head, chest, legs, weapon, you can put a shield in there and then some feet. So now we've defined these different slots. And instead of writing int, we can now write equipment slot. If we save that and go into Unity, you can see that we now get a drop down menu where we can choose between these different options. And of course, our armor and damage modifier. So for our helmet of protection, I'm going to give this a big armor modifier, say three, and no damage modifier. But for our helmet of fire, I'm going to give it an armor modifier of, say, two, and a damage modifier of one. Now, when we play this and pick up our items, we can see that's definitely working and they will show up in our inventory. But currently, nothing happens when we click on them. It says using and then the item name, but we're not really equipping them. To do that, we need to go into our equipment and in here we need to override our use method. So we'll go public override void use. And first off, we'll call the base class. As you can see, this only prints out the name of the object that we're using, but we might add something more important later. We then want to equip the item and finally remove it from the inventory. Now, in order to equip the item, we need to define some kind of equipment manager. To do that, let's go to Unity, select the game manager, hit add component, and let's create an equipment manager. Let's hit create an add and open it up. And the first thing we want here is a simple singleton pattern, the exact same way we did it for the inventory script. Again, if you want to learn more about singletons, I will have a link in the description. So let's create a public static equipment manager called instance. And in the awake method, We'll simply set instance equal to this. Let's wrap this in a region called singleton so we can easily collapse it. Now, the most essential thing in this equipment manager is an array of all the items that we currently have equipped. So let's create an equipment array called current equipment. Then when we start the game, so inside of our start method, 
we need to initialize this array. And we need to give it the same length, so as many slots, as we have in our equipment slot enum. Now here we can use a pretty handy little trick. In order to get the amount of elements in an enum, we can use system.enum. Here we have a function called getNames. And we give it the type, which is our equipment slot. And now this is actually a string array of all of the elements inside of our equipment slot. So we can simply use the length of this in order to get the amount of elements. And then we can store this in an integer called say number of slots. And we can use this number to initialize our array. So we'll set current equipment equal to a new equipment array with a length of number of slots. Cool. Next up, we want to define a few methods. The first one is for equipping items. So we'll create a public void called equip. This is going to take in a piece of equipment. Let's call this the new item. And of course, we want to insert this item into our array. But the placement matters because we want the different elements of our array to correspond to different slots. Luckily, when we create an enum, every element is associated with an index. We can actually see this if we hover over one of them. We can see equipment slot dot head is zero, chest is one, legs is two, and so on. So what we can actually do is get the index of the slot our new item is supposed to be inserted into. So we can create some kind of integer called slot index, and we can set this equal to new item dot equip slot, and then we simply cast this into an integer. So now if the equip slot of our new item is say a chest, we can see here that the corresponding index is one, and so our slot index will be one. And this will be the case for any chest piece equipment. And so we can simply set current equipment, and we get the element corresponding to our slot index, and set it equal to our new item. So if we now go into our equipment object and where we want to equip the item, we simply call equipment manager dot instance dot equip and we feed it this item. Well, then we should see that if we go into Unity and here we can switch into debug mode in the inspector so that we can actually see the current equipment array. We can then hit play and we can see that when the game starts, it initializes with a size of six elements because we have six different slots in our enum. When we then pick up a couple of items and try and equip one of them, we can see the item gets inserted into the proper slot. And if I try and equip the helmet of protection, it gets swapped out. This is also the case if we go ahead and create, say, a third item here. I'm just going to move this over. And we'll call this one the Sword of Destiny. Let's just switch out of debug mode here. So let's right click, go create, inventory equipment, Sword of Destiny. And we'll give it the name up here as well. We can set the icon just to one of the placeholders. Change the equipment slot to a weapon. And the damage modifier to, say, 3. Then we can select our sort of destiny object and drag in our scriptable object. And if we now hit play and pick up this sort of destiny, select our game manager and go back into debug view, we can then click on it. And you can now see that our sort maps to a different part of the array. Awesome. There's of course one problem, and that is that items stay in our inventory after equipping them. And so we can actually equip them infinite amounts of times. Changing this is very simple. Inside of our equipment object, we say here that we want to remove it from the inventory. Well, let's go ahead and create a method for this. And let's actually put it inside of item, since we have multiple items that might want to do this. Let's then create a public void remove from inventory. And this is simply going to get the inventory instance and call remove where we insert the item. Then inside of our equipment, we can simply call remove from inventory. So now when we play and pick up a few items, we can see that when equipping them, they get removed. We can also see, however, that if we try now and equip the helmet of protection, when we already have the helmet of fire equipped, that it is going to swap out, but the helmet of fire doesn't reappear in our inventory. So we need to put in some code for swapping items. We'll do that in the equipment manager. Here we can put in an if statement where we check if there's already an item in the slot. So if current equipment and we give it the slot index is not equal to null, so something is already there, well then we want to add our item back into the inventory. To do that, we need a reference to the inventory. We could just access the instance here, but it's probably better to cache it. So we'll go to the top here, create an inventory variable called inventory. 
Inside of this start method, we'll set inventory equal to inventory.instance. And now down here, we can simply write inventory.add and feed it the old item. Of course, we also have to get the old item here. So let's just go to the top here, actually create a variable of type equipment and let's call this old item. So by default, this will be null. And then if we actually discover that there is an old item, we'll set old item equal to the item that sits in the slot. So current equipment at the slot index place. And then we'll add that back into the inventory. So now we should see that if we save this, go to Unity and hit play, we'll pick up a bunch of items here, hit I and equip them. You can see that every time we try and equip a helmet, it simply swaps out with the previous one. Awesome. But of course, there's currently no way to unequip items. And we haven't really integrated this as part of the UI, but I thought our equipment manager should at least be able to do it. So let's add the functionality and then we can make it so that when we press a hotkey, we unequip all of our items. To do that, let's create a public void called unequip. And here we'll take in an integer with the slot index. We'll check if there is any item at this slot index. So if current equipment, we'll input slot index is not equal to null, well then we'll get the old item. So equipment, old item equals current equipment to slot index. We'll add back the old item. So inventory.add old item. We'll then set current equipment to slot index equal to null because we are unequipping everything. So there will be nothing there now. And that should be it. We can then create another public void called say unequip all. And here we'll simply loop through all of the elements in our current equipment array. And for each one, we'll call unequip. Then we can check if we press a certain hotkey in order to do that, or we could make some UI to trigger it. We'll just create an update method where each frame we check if we press. And the key that we're looking for here is key code dot U for unequip. And if we do, well, then we can go ahead and unequip all. So now we should see that if we go into Unity and hit play and we try to equip some items, we can then hit U and all the items disappear from our equipment manager and reappear in our inventory. Awesome, so that's pretty much our entire equipment manager. The last thing that I want to do is add in a callback method that will trigger whenever our current equipment changes. This is really good to have because we want to update different things when we equip or unequip items. We want to display the changes on our character and we also want to update our stats accordingly. So let's go to the top of our equipment manager and let's create a public delegate void. We're going to call it on equipment changed. And we're going to take in a piece of equipment, which is our new item and another piece of equipment, which is our old item. We then create a public on equipment changed variable called on equipment changed with a non capital O. And now other scripts can subscribe to this callback method and we'll make sure to invoke it when we equip an item. So here we'll go if on equipment changed is not equal to null. So if we have any methods to notify, well, then we want to invoke those methods. So on equipment changed dot invoke and we'll input our new item and then our old item. And we want to do the exact same thing when we unequip an item. So there. And here, of course, we don't have a new item. Our new item is simply null. Let's now save that. And we aren't going to be using this functionality yet, but it's going to make it so much easier later on. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future one. Also, Sebastian is going to be doing the next video in this series where he'll show how you can display armor and weapons on your character. So make sure to subscribe to his channel if you aren't already. Other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in July and a special thanks to Hans Huftun, Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, Jesper Mikkelsen, Stone Gamer, Thomas Volley, Cyborg Mummy, Cole Cabral, Jason Latito, Aaron, Robert Bund, and Judaman. If you want to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash You guys rock.